I have come to the G8 meeting representing the voices of the Kenyan the Kenyans who are going without food on a daily basis. In Kenya we have about 10 million people who go on a daily basis without food and anything else to eat. And we have a further 17 million of people who live below one dollar a day. Even these people, they, have, they are actually struggling to put food on the table. I have come here with the Christ of that woman who boils wild fruits and seeds for eight hours in order to put food on the table for her children. These numbers are just an addition to the one billion people who are going without food on a daily basis globally. As Action Aid, what we are expecting in this meeting is that the G8 governments are going to listen to the cries of people who are crying on a daily basis for food. They are going to put more money into where money is needed most. We are calling on the G8 to live up to their promises, the promises they made in the year 2005. In 2005, when GCAP was kicking off at the Glen Eagles G8 Summit, our assessment of what the G8 put on the table in 2005 was that the people roared and the G8 whispered. So it's important for us to recognize that as we judge the G8 now in 2009, that our assessment of what they put on the table in Glen Eagles was what we believe was not ambitious enough. Yet, even these modest, by our estimation, commitments that were made in 2005, they have been a colossal failure in terms of uh, moving forward. For the past one year, an additional 100 million people have slipped into hunger, making at least 1 billion people in this world being imprisoned by hunger. And so, there is the need for quick, urgent and ambitious action. The 100 million people sleeping into hunger a year translates to 275,000 people sleeping into hunger on a single day. Which means that for the past three and a half days that we have been at this G8 meeting, at least one million people have gone into hunger. This is outrageous in a world where there is a lot of resources and we think that is caused by wrong priorities, wrong policy and wrong model of agriculture. There is the need to change the priorities. In 1986, the international aid to agriculture was $7.6 billion. In 2006, this has decreased to $3.9 billion, about 50% decrease. This is unacceptable. And if you look at here, the policies on agrofuel is fueling the food crisis. Uh, agrofuels, uh, there is a land grab in Africa from 2006 to 2009. We know that about 20 million hectares of land, equivalent to the size of France, has been seized or taken away by farmers from Europe and America. And we know that all of these are fueling the food crisis.